On this episode of Pimp My Gun, we will not be using the mag of holding on the multi-purpose gladiator melee weapon because it's a knife. Let's go try it out. All right, let's just get this out of the way at the start here so we can have a nice mature review of this weapon because we all know what it looks like and I did make the camera look like poop. But wait, look, look at the icon down there. It's all squished. I bet it's been in something tight. I'm getting a little too crazy early on here. But we did get a new melee weapon in... When it comes to any melee weapon in this game, the big question is going to be, can it live up to the Tomfa? So that's what we'll be trying to figure out. So far, this is what its swing speed looks like. I will not get any faster than this. And it, you know what? To its credit, it does look kind of fast. I think the only other melee weapon that might be on par with the Tomfa could be the Gutter Knife or the Karambit in terms of like damage or the Dual Kadochis in terms of speed, but neither of them have both of those. So we'll be seeing what this bad boy can do here in Zombies. And the inspect on it, honestly, not that bad. Pretty decent decent looking but let's go ahead and get it to legendary tier let's pack a punch it i also brought in my golden armor plates because i know i'm be taking crazy damage and use everything else and the pack a punch name for this is pointy end out i don't think that's how you use it and we got some tier two zombies here so here's an unarmored zombie one hit kill an armored zombie one hit kill at least at legendary tier so far not bad. And just for curiosity's sake, what's this doing against some tier three zombies only at pack two? Let's get this fully armored zombie. It's a two hit kill. Okay, hold on. Tompo might have some competition. It's like one hit to destroy armor, one hit to kill. If it's flesh, they're going down immediately. Let's go try this against some bosses. All right, what are we getting right off the bat here? Oh, Mimic. Mimics actually might be the counter to melee weapons. That's one boss you really don't want to be that close to. Oh, and great. It spawned all the way up there. Is there a stronghold there? Why does this keep happening? I thought they fixed that. And after that episode where we tried out the new sniper, I need to prove to you guys that I know how to use a scorcher. I was just panicking. There was some crazy shit happening. But it looks like the mercs are already trying to take him out. You should honestly just let him. Oh, this sucks against mercs. Not the greatest. Let me help the mimic out. We can team up. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. He just shot a dual shot. Actually, you know what? Mercs, you take them out. Go for it. All yours. You've done a lot of work here. Finish all, finish the job. Dude. Not the time. I'm trying to spectate. Oh, it's going upstairs. It's looking for more blood. And it got killed. Damn. Alright, Dokabi. We'll be back. I need to test this against the HVT. Now, for real this time, what do we got? A mangler. What's up, mangler? Thank you for not spawning in places you're not supposed to be at. And we already cut his arm off immediately and he's dead. I didn't even think we really took any damage there. And now we get our Mimic rematch. Let's hope we can get some damage on it before it notices us. And it's dead. This is a very silent killer. Like with the Tom Fro, there's constant like swinging noises going on. With this, it's just, it's just very subtle sounds. And after robbing this gas station, we have enough for pack three. So let's go grab it. Give me that. We got a nice dog fight going on here. Let's hope we don't attract Michael Vick. And let's see what this thing can do now. Because it was two-shotting tier three zombies at pack two. Now that we're fully powered up, what can we do? Bars. One shot and everything, it looks like. And I'm still not really taking a whole lot of damage. I just sit here and swing. The lunge isn't bad. Actually, it doesn't really seem to be that much lunge at all. That's also a huge problem with melee weapons in this game. Oh, shit. I use it on the ground? I can. Uh, there's that too. Another added feature. But melee weapons have terrible lunge in this game. It always seems like it's going to the wrong spot or it's flinging you around in all kinds of directions trying to lock on to whatever zombie's coming at you. And it doesn't really work how I think it should. But the real challenge here is going to be is if we can actually take down this mega bomb. Because I always had the problem of trying to hit its mouth. It never seems to work right. Same with trying to get disciples. Oh, but that one's gone immediately. And I'm gone. I need to get a self-revive. We are uh, playing a little too fast and loose with a melee weapon here. Oh yeah, I'm fully out of selves. All right, we'll be right back, Mega Bomb. I need to run some errands. All right, we're back in business. Ready to give this a real try. Come here, Abomination. We're gonna take out the Disciple first because they love to heal and power up bosses now. And here's our laser. This is our chance. Let me in there. Let me get some damage in there. Oh, I don't think we're really doing anything. It's really hard to hit a Mega Abomination from the ground like that. How much damage? Oh, that's a little bit. That's a slight amount. More than I thought, actually. I feel like if we could actually get some decent hits, though, we could do more. Let's bait him into shooting the laser. Go for it. There you go. Now, if I stand right here and jump, 
Nope. It keeps, like, throwing me into his chest. This is the same problem I was having with, like, every other melee. Come on. Let me hit a crit. There we go. We broke a face. Let me break another. What we got him at? Oh, less than half. Hold on. I was up to something right there. Those jumping swings were working. Oh, and he's yelling. He's pissed. Come here. Why don't you just die already? I wish I could see his health bar. I'm just swinging and hoping he dies. Oh, there we go. We got him. Ooh, and the zombies are trying to take me out with them. There's too many of them. Okay, no. You do not want to be using this in a horde. One too many swings and you're going down. I think this actually might need Shatter Blast to be usable in a horde. Is there any Shatter Blast on the ground by chance? Per chance? Nope. I don't see any tier three bounties, but there is an Outlast contract. I want to see if I can try to figure out a way to manage a horde. I feel like it's going to be all about positioning. And actually, while we're running there, this is a good mobility test. Can we outrun a Hellhound? There's one right behind us. I'm spamming my sprint button, so we're hitting our attack sprint as much as possible. It bit us once, but maybe while I wasn't attack sprinting. Nope, nope, there it is again. All right, your job here is done. So it's a no on outrunning the Hellhound. Let's start this up. And maybe if we like sit up on these boxes and get them while they're in their climbing animation, this will be like Forsaken. Back when we had the original truck. Oh no. The lunge is starting to take into effect. We're getting thrown at zombies we're not trying to get. See, like that. I wasn't even moving. Looks like this is going to be a, a run and swipe type weapon. We just run. Hit him a few times. Keep it moving. It's the only thing we can do. Oh, we got a sigil. Let's go. All right. We can survive an outlast, but I want to see how fast we can take down a group of zombies if we get them all in one spot while they're not tearing me to the ground. While they're all distracted, we can just keep swinging. Still one-shotting them all regardless of armor or not. Yeah, that was a good amount pretty quick. We basically took all of them out while only taking like, what, two or three swings? We didn't even get that close to going down. So decoys are a must for this. Same with Aether Shroud. And the question I've been wondering, can we take out the Stormcaller as fast or faster than the Tomfa with this? We got no decoys. We're going into this raw. Actually, you guys give me an Aether Shroud. There we go. We'll use it. Pull up on him. Don't you fly away from me. His health's going down pretty quick. But it's not like no three-shot kill. But, oh, it's pretty fast if the zombies would leave me alone. A decoy there would have definitely sealed it. But we don't need it. Gone. Sleep. Give me that skull. Oh, shit. All right, zombies. I appreciate the effort. Get the hell away from me. Not bad. Kills it faster than a lot of weapons. I think Tomfa still might do it, but that's a close second. And don't go thinking I forgot about you, Doka B. You've been on my mind. Come here. Oh, I'm probably going to go down right away. Yep. Okay. Maybe melee weapons probably not the best choice to use against a uh, warlord. What if we just uh, mortar strike him? All right, Doka B's flying away. We'll go meet her at our next spot. Oh, here she comes. Let's take out all of our guards. Or at least as many as we can. This is a much more doable area. All right, now it's just me and you, Doka B. Oh, and all your fucking drones. I wish I had an EMP. Come here. Is this doing anything against you? Oh, a little bit. Yeah, fly away. We got some damage on her. I think once she gets to our next area, we'll be able to actually take her down. And all of her guards from earlier over here are already dead. So let's just take out this. And try to withstand all of her bomb drones. Oh, we got her like at half health, less than half. She can't melee us back. And she's dead. Not bad. If you can get her alone in a 1v1... You can take her out pretty easily. Look at that. Our reinforcements don't even know what to do. Helicopter's frozen in fear. Oh, we got a Scorcher case. I will happily take that. And we still need to get the one camo challenge we have for this done. We just need 250 kills. I had some people ask me last time how we got to see my camos in game like this. When you're in your camo menu... Oh, I almost died. There should be a little button underneath whatever camo you're hovering on, and it should say add to tracked. You can add them to your track challenges and they'll show up in your pause menu. Honestly, an amazing quality of life feature. So far, I'm liking this. Not bad for a butt plug. Now, I've seen games use uh, some paraphernalia like this as weapons, like Saints Row 3 and the Punisher. This is probably right up there with them. Let's try this against uh, Tier 3 HVT. What you got for me? Oh, Disciple? Easy. This is like round two against the Stormcaller. But this time, I'm going to use Decoy. Because we learn from our mistakes sometimes. 
And he's already at half. Don't you fly away from me. You stay here and take your beating. And you're dead. And this thing's been so good at taking out bosses. How can we not do another bounty? Oh, and it's another mega abomination. This is our final boss. Unless there's another mega abomination in the Dark Aether. And this is our second to final boss. The semi-final boss. Things are going to go differently this time around. Because I got a monkey bomb. The zombies are going to stay away from me. And you are just going to eat these shots to the mouth. Nothing but mouth shots. Your jaw is going to be sore after this. Oh, already got him to close to half health, kind of? A quarter, third? And there's another mega abomination. Beautiful. Yeah, laser your friend, idiot. Yeah, take all that damage, dumbass. Keep walking in it. It's actually really nice, now that I think about it. Them having two abominations spawn near each other, making you fight the HVT next to this dumbass. Because they can just fight each other. What do we get for that? Uh, not a whole lot. Now it's just me and you. Thanks for the help, idiot. Now it's your turn to go. We did split his head wide open. There's like a, a very small spot you can jump. I wish I had a step stool to fight him. Because we took his health down so fast when we can actually hit him in his crit point. That's like the one nerf to these. You gotta just keep jumping and hope he opens up and doesn't bite at us. It's Aether Shroud. Go ahead and open it up. Do it. Let me see. There it is. Got him. And now the storm's on its way. I'm gonna go grab some decoys, grab some cashmeres, and we'll make our way into the Dark Aether. Oh wait, we still need our camo. Why does this always happen? At least we only need eight more kills. But the last few times you come in here, I've been scrambling to get my camo done before we go to the Dark Aether. I need to just focus up and do it. And just like every other time, I need to just hurry up and do a camo. Whatever I need to do is nowhere near me. There's literally no zombies here in Tier 3. They've all vanished. Like the Fire Nation. And I guess the Avatar. No, wait, the, the Fire Nation attacked, then the Avatar left. I got that mixed up. I need to rewatch that. But this should be our camo right about here. Please don't kill me. We're getting there, and we got it. Let's go. Caliber. All right, Dark Aether, here I come. All right, I'm a little nervous to use this in the Dark Aether because I have been hounded in here before. Just absolutely surrounded and taken out. And that's like the one place you don't want to be with this. So if I could ask any favors for the Dark Aether gods or demons or whatever, please no mega abomination. All right, whatever. Didn't think they'd listen anyways. Little did they know that was reverse psychology. Of course I want to fight a mega abomination. I want the highest stakes possible. My stakes on Wiz Khalifa. But I brought extra cashmeres in here just for this occasion. We're ready. I'm throwing this right away, and we're going in. Shoot that laser. I'm going to stay a healthy distance back. Okay, never mind. But, oh, actually, we broke a face right away. Maybe I'm figuring this out. Let's Aether Shroud right now. Let him go idle. Open up. There you go. Oh, he turned away. How'd you know? We got some good damage on him already. We got to throw another cashmere. Just keep the zombies off my ass. And then we can go in. I love how the POV of this fight looks. Where I'm just inside of his body. I'm in his walls. Oh, holy shit, he's almost dead. I mean, pff, yeah, of course he's almost dead. Exactly how I planned it. Um, you know what? We got decoys here. We can probably do it in, like, one more decoy, maybe two. Let's just keep swinging. Just keep swinging. Just keep swinging. Just keep swinging. Swinging. He's dead. Let's go. That was nothing. Give me another one, actually. Give me two abominations to fight. And a mag of holding. We even have to use one this game. So we're up. Look at that ROI. And a ray gun. Outlast might be a little tricky. We're just going to have to maneuver around a bit like we did last time. And I want to make sure that at a minimum we get 100 kills in here. Because I'm still not too sure how the Dark Aether works with us getting like 100 kills a game and X failing. It doesn't seem to count the Dark Aether as an X fill. So let's just make sure we get our 100 kills in here. That way we don't have to play a whole extra game to get our camos done. Oh, is that Shatter Blast? Give me that. This is perfect. This is the exact ammo on I've been looking for. Now I just need it to go off at some point. Right now would be nice. Right now would be good. Man, I was really putting my faith into that. I guess we're, we're still handling it despite the down. The zombies are going down just as easy. Okay, maybe not. They're actually hitting pretty hard. These guys got a heavy right hand, but it don't matter. This contract is done. There we go. 
Uh, legendary ethic tool for my troubles. Nope, another Maga holding though. Gotta love it when I'm, I don't use a Maga holding for a game for the first time in a while. And they just refill me on them. So like here, take two. And now the easiest contract in the game, you know, besides killing a HVT Mega Bomb. A little, quick little decoy. Mangler, go to bed. You guys know the drill. Second one, same thing. Disciple, you can get a little sum. Oh, and they got two Manglers over here by this rocket. It's really switching it up. Too bad it's not going to be enough. Oh, wait, maybe it was. It pushed me away from it, but already over. In record time. Now, this is what they were waiting for. Legendary Aether Tool here. Nope. All right. I'll take three mags of holding. I won't complain about that. Now, let's just try to get our kills. I just want to be extra certain. But even still here in the dark, Aether, now that I'm paying more attention to it, we're one-shotting zombies. This is a good-ass melee weapon. Sometimes armor is blocking it here, like for one hit, but... Still not bad. It's exactly what you want out of a melee. All right, let's get out of here. I think we got enough. Oh yeah, 677 kills. That should be more than enough. And there's our gold. All right, two very important things. I found a camo that looks a little bit more like poop. And we need to go ahead and get our pack-a-punch kills and our elite kills and we'll be all done with this. Let's hope the camos aren't bugged out on this. Oh, there it is. Beautiful. Manglers. You better tell your friends to come here. We need nine more of those. Of course, I say something and now manglers cease to exist. This is fucked up. Oh, there they are. You just gotta complain. The method's tried and true. Well, since we're not spawning manglers for us, let's do some bounties. Now, this is only pack one in epic, but I want to see if the damage still carries. What's up, disciple? Are we doing any damage to you? Uh, kind of, but you're too high in the air and you're, you keep healing. Stop. He knows our strategy. Why don't you get down a little bit lower so I can break that mask of yours. There you go. Broke your hand at least. Now let me get up in your face. Broke it. Okay, yeah. This can do some damage. You just gotta be at the right height. You need to be this tall to ride. And he should be dead soon. Right about here. That was a bit of a struggle, but we got it done. Well, we can take out bounties with tier one pack, but just kind of inefficient. Let's grab pack two. How much better is pack two epic? Oh, way better, actually. He's already dead. Damn, what a difference that can make. You know what? Well, we handled that disciple so easily. Let's try the storm caller again with a little bit less firepower. We also didn't bring our decoys again. I'm an idiot. Oh, shit. All right, that was warm up. We got monkey bombs, though. Let's throw one of these and try that again. Let's pretend like that didn't happen. Can we break his mask? We broke his hand. We got to throw another one of these. And let's get back to work. I don't think I can reach his face, but we're still got him down to half health. Without our legendary tier in pack three. It's definitely way slower than the Tonfa would be, though. But he's almost dead. Oh, he's like literally a nut hair of health. I can put my ball hair right there on his health bar and it'd be as wide. There we go. Give me that skull and let's get out of here. So this thing can definitely handle a storm caller. Oh, we just need one more elite. Who's going to be the lucky elite? Well, I guess this is the first elite we're seeing. Can we take out this abomination with no decoys or monkey bombs? Actually, there's a mangler right here. Oh, there we go. Woo, serpent tonight. Wait, it says polyatomic underneath it. What? Hello? That's not even this game's camo. And we're not doing anything to this mega bomb. And I have one self revive left. Let's, uh, let's get out of here. Beautiful. Is it going to show polyatomic or did it just mess up? Oh, it says polyatomic again. And then it switched to serpentine or serpent tonight. And here's what polyatomic looks like on our gladiator. Honestly, very nice camo and... Pretty good coverage on this, despite there not being a whole lot of weapon. And our reward for getting polyatomic, this is Borealis on our little fart silencer here. Pretty good looking weapon. Kind of wish there was two of them. We got more holes to fill. But overall, the gladiator knife, the butt plug melee weapon, it's actually pretty good. It was taking out bosses very easily. We're actually getting really good damage on those mega abominations on the rare chance that we could actually hit them in their crit spot. And it took out the Stormcaller, not only like fully upgraded pack three, you know, legendary tier, but just epic tier pack two. So I think it can definitely compete with the Tomfa. The Tomfa might be a little bit better, but this is a close second. I don't think it's that far behind it. And it looks pretty goofy, so it's got that going for it. But I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I will see you in the next one. Later.